she was easy like that. You understand that time? You know that time you really have to chase woman. You understand? It's not like today now. That time, that's why I say you chase woman. You ch you have to chase woman. Seven <laughs> months, six months. You know what I What's up, guys? Welcome back to Lion Mark TV. So this video, particularly, it's about relationship. So if you guys are not, I don't know, but I believe everybody, everyone has a relationship one way or the other, be it marriage, um, girlfriend and boyfriend, name it, whatsoever relationship, friendly relationship, family relationship. So Obi Kubana gave something very amazing inside this video that I'm about to share with you guys. And I just wish you cool down, listen to the video for a long, long time because, yeah, it's really going to help a lot it's really going to help i sometimes i just don't source this content because i want to give you guys obi kubana video for those of you who always complain about obi 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 sometimes i bring those stories that when you hear them put them into your life and it brings meaning into you anyway guys let me not say much let me allow you listen to the video and you know get the best advice you can actually get for your relationship for your marriage and all that if you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe turn on post notification share comment in the comment section request. can you send me a request please oh let me see if i can send i have no request obi can you please send me a request while we're waiting for him to send a request i'm always asking um at the end of this week at the end of um doing the next the uh, talking about what women want in marriage we're going to down to for the year next year to start again but i really want to know what sort of content people are looking to hey <laughs> fantastic how are you I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Obi, you know, I'm, I have to first of all start by saying thank you. I know you are an incredibly busy man. And I don't take it for <laughs> granted that I asked you at short notice and you agreed to come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Um, thank you. Thank yeah, you people, are, people are just waiting to hear from you, you know. Um, so this is Rivali, and what we do is we like using the power of storytelling to address issues. What we're talking about today, like I said, is what men want or what they need in marriage. Now, we're going to look at it from two angles. The first thing you're going to do for us, you're going to tell us the story of how you met your wife, what the initial attraction was, and at what point did you think, oh, she's a keeper. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. That's the first story you're going to tell us. And secondly, you will let us know what exactly is she doing? I mean, because she clearly has a spellbound. One needs to just go through your Instagram page and we're like, wow, this lady has to cut this. She has to cut this soap for us, you know? But that's going to be the <laughs> second thing. <laughs> so first of all, tell us what, how did you meet her? What was the initial attraction? And what was it that made you think, I want to spend the rest of my life with her? The floor is all yours. Okay, thank you, Kay. Thank you so much for <laughs> bringing me onto this program. The pleasure is um, mine. <laughs> you know, I hardly ever do this. If it is not for my wife, who brings me on under the mango tree from time to time, but coming from you, I can never ever say no, okay? Thank you. So, <laughs> good evening, uh, viewers. Good evening, our people, <laughs> uh, Instagram family. So, well, how I met my wife, uh, that's a long story. How long do we have? We have, uh, for you, we have as long as it takes. I mean, there, there, there are people queuing up to listen to you, so take your time. We want, we want to hear every single detail. All right, so um, meeting my wife was, uh, wasn't like planned. You know, back in the days, we, I was running a garden. A garden in Gariki era seven. People know that place has no garden. So one fateful evening, a former schoolmate in Dennis Monroe Grammar School, my secondary schoolmate Amara from Obosi, who happens to be my wife's cousin. Okay. So they came to eat our local delicacies, so far and all those things. Yeah. And um, I think then she just was about to call, to be called to bar after her law school. Okay. And so they now said that this nice place they eat of Falco in Abuja. <laughs> And that's how they came along. And then I'm like, called me and said, I come and see my beautiful cousin. And me, I was just a public servant now. I know sense. So we just greeted and that was it. And then they left. So the following day, they came back again. 
and the third day she came back alone to come and eat the other one that was always handy to serve and everything. So I think on the fourth day she lost her certificate. She misplaced it there. And they came back on the fifth day crying and then they brought it out for her. And then that was how I think for the first time we exchanged contact just to be ordering food, not for us to do anything and everything. Okay. Okay, so fast forward. So after law school now they now posted her to Kano to go and do a youth service. Uh, and me now, as a father Abraham, I said, no, you can't go to Kano. You have to come back to Abuja here. <laughs> so, and at this point, you were still just friends. Well, not even... Well, I've not looked at, at her in any way at all. I just see her as my uh, schoolmate's cousin and everything. And, okay. and she likes what we do in the garden because, she, you know, she's a local girl. She loves all the local food and the native food and everything. <laughs> so... That's how we now exchange numbers and everything. So she comes around to eat and everything. So when they first started to Kano, and I said, okay, I have contacts that can actually help you if you really want to serve in Abuja and everything. So that's how we worked it out. And then she went to do her orientation in Kano and then came back to Abuja when she was redeployed. Okay. So in between that time, we started talking. We started talking and talking and talking. You know, when you see somebody for the first time, you might just see the person as just this person. But when you start spending time either on the phone or physical with somebody, you start seeing certain attributes you wouldn't have just seen on that first day. So yeah. that's how we, well, I don't know about her, but <laughs> that's how I developed interest in wanting to speak more to her, okay. to her, to her and everything. So one thing led to another and then boom, we are an item. Okay. Okay. At that time, oh, she said they do her paka paka like that. Nobody say she was easy like that. <laughs> you understand that time? You know that time you really have to chase woman. You understand? It's not like today now. That time, that's why I say you chase woman. You ch you have to chase woman. Seven <laughs> months, six months. You know I won't keep the person. <laughs> you understand? So those days, that was what we meant. As in, I chased her. As in, there was a chasing. Yeah. You understand? So. Um, she was actually my friend before we became an item and everything. And I think that's what formed the foundation of whatever we are enjoying today. Okay. And everything. Because she's somebody you can actually engage or somebody that can actually engage you mm. in meaningful things, you know. And she has a human heart. You know when I say human heart? You know, even prior to anything, I had some issues then at the garden you know the garden or like a place they sell pan wine and they sell probably see what are the delicacies and everything yeah the highest stock we had that time was like red wine and everything so okay on one of the visits she came the garden was being demolished wow you know the garden was being on that day as in as she was landing mm -hmm. that was like the contact address it was being demolished on that day. So when she came, everybody was running up and down, police everywhere, and then uh, she was confused and was like, what's happening and everything. NTA, everybody was there, videoing what was happening. Mm. And then she was crying. And then, so that night, mm. like, I couldn't sleep. And then she, she just held me and was praying that this is just the list of why we will be. This is the beginning of your greatness. And it, no, but to me, I was just looking at her. What is this what they talk? <laughs> Because me to me, I was finished, and that was just it. And so she held me crying and praying, and uh, this is the list where you'll be. Greatness awaits you, blah, blah, blah. Me, I was looking for my passport to travel, because me, I know say, it was done for me in Nigeria and everything. So, and then she was there encouraging and um, saying those words of encouragement, praying, and everything. So, and... From there, the growth started and everything. So we come back to that and everything. So I've introduced how we met before I get carried away. Okay, <laughs> tell, me, <laughs> so tell me, how long did you date before you decided to get married? Oh, okay. Uh, I think it was, we dated for three years. Okay. We dated for three years. And in the 2000, and, I don't remember, 2008, we got married in June. 
And what, what do you think were the qualities in her that, okay, I've heard you say a lot of things. First of all, you were friends. That must have been very important to you. She was yeah. very engaging. Um, she had a good heart. She was clearly very prayerful. And um, one thing I hear you say is that she believed in you. So even when you were having those challenges and you couldn't even see, she saw what you couldn't see. So she yeah. believed in you. Now, yeah. uh, is there anything else you would say made you decide, oh, this is somebody I want to spend the rest of my life with? Anything other than what I've said here? You know, those days, uh, youthful exuberance was all over my head. I never believed I was going to get married. But to, to tell you the truth, really? my dad was never a polygamist. You know, so nobody in my lineage has been a polygamist. But I felt that I didn't have time for women. I wasn't going to get married. I just wanted to have my fun, possibly have kids outside, and then move on with kind of business. I was doing because my business was like taking the, my entire life. Mm -hmm. You know, when you are trying to set up something and you look at the thing, the thing was like ups and downs in life. You didn't want to be held down and everything. And, I, and in between, we've had girlfriends and we've had flings and everything. So yeah. I wasn't thinking of marriage. I wasn't, I was barely standing. So I'm going to be talking about marriage. There wasn't something concrete I was doing yeah. and everything. So the thought never entered my head, but she was like there. You know, she was like there. I mean, in those days, you could uh, you care less about life. You could go out there and get high beyond. You don't even know how you sleep. Yeah. You wake up, you know, somebody has actually undressed you and then covered you. You know, acting like second mom and everything. You know, in your inner mind, even if you don't want to say the truth, you will begin to think towards a direction. You understand? Yes, yes. And then, then none of my mates were married. Okay. So it was okay for us to be single. And we were having fun. <laughs> yeah. You understand? So, mm -hmm. you know, the idea of you going out and someone asking you, where are you? Why are you not home? So we didn't want to hear that. Mm -hmm. We felt that marriage was this cage that um, once you enter, you don't enter. You understand? So we didn't want that at all. Mm -hmm. You understand? But in your inner heart, I was seeing, in my inner heart, I was seeing that there are certain qualities about this particular person that uh, it, it happens. I mean, this should be her and everything. Yeah. You know, even before my dad died, at least he met her. And my daddy knew the dad, and they were like, ah, this, this is a nice family. And I said, well, I know they marry. I know they, you know, that time, I didn't even want anything marriage. But in when you sleep and when you wake up, when you want to tell yourself the truth, mm -hmm. that this boy that keep telling you this is the one, this is the one, and everything. So <laughs> that's oh. <all. laughs> very, very so you've been married now, um you said two thousand and eight. Mm, thirteen years. Thirteen years. Okay, yes. thirteen years. That brings me to my question or before i ask you that question the, the next section let me ask you this so um we've had the series for two tuesdays and most men say that respect is very important for them in their marriage in fact it appears that most men value women respecting them more than women loving them what would you say about that okay you know we are africans yes you see uh Social media has made people to compare the lives they don't know anything about with their own life and culture. Yeah. I am first an African. Mm -hmm. I'm a Nigerian. I'm an Igbo man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, an average African sees respect as love. Right. They value respect over and above everything. Hmm. No man wants to be challenged by a woman. No African man hmm. wants to be challenged. Hmm. They see that challenge. And like even although some people are extreme, but I mean, even a mild conversation, hmm. suggestion, input, whatever it is from a woman, they see it hmm. as a challenge. Hmm. To them, respect. However, it comes either maybe subjecting some people still use that that are subject women to slavery, 
or something beneath humans, they see it as respect. Mm -hmm. But in terms of respect, respect, the African woman, the African man values respect over and above everything. Yes. And the, truth, the truth, I understand what you're saying. The truth, Obi, is that it's not even about, you know, so a pastor came on two weeks ago and there's something he said. He said, God instituted marriage. So if you want to know how a Toyota car should function, you should go to Toyota, right? If you want to know how Mercedes function, you, you don't go to Lexus to go and find out how Mercedes would function. You will go back to the person who made it. Now, God, in his infinite wisdom, made marriage. And he says that, I mean, in the Bible, he says that the woman should respect the man. You know, and the, the woman should rest. The woman is the one who's supposed to respect the man while the man loves the woman. And there is this, um, there's a New York best-selling author. He writes on marriages and, rela and um, relationships generally. He says that a man wants unconditional respect. Or in fact, he said the man needs unconditional respect. And he's American, he's not even African. He said a man needs unconditional respect the same way a woman needs unconditional love. And that when a man is denied unconditional respect, he denies the woman of, or the wife of unconditional love. And he also says that when the woman is denied unconditional love, she denies the husband of unconditional respect. respect. Now, do you, do you agree with that? Well, I think, you know, respect is one of how people view respect. Okay, exactly. So what does respect mean for you? Well, to me, I mean, respect means that, uh, how do I want to put it? Like, I have been my wife's best friend. Now, she has been my best friend for the past, let's call it 12 years. Yes. Because one year into the relationship, I saw in her what made me to stay where I am today and what has made me never to look back, mm -hmm. everything. And to me, the fact that she looks out for me, Yes. the fact that she ask after me, mm -hmm. I mean, maybe where are you and everything. Like, I don't see making food for me as respect. I don't <laughs> see washing clothes for me as respect. Because I want to say, some people see slavery as respect. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. to me, I don't believe that she knows her boundaries with everything. Like, yeah. we can't go out and then she'll be drunk. You know what I'm trying to say? She can be Absolutely. tipsy. But inside the, the confines of our house, mm -hmm. she can be drunk and misbehave because that's me and her. Mm -hmm. And nobody will tell our story. Yes. That to me is respect. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't need to misbehave outside mm -hmm. there. Yeah. But even if she does, because she's human, yes. it's my job and duty to protect her mm -hmm. and take her back home, first of all. Mm -hmm. you, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Absolutely. So, yeah. So, but in the confines of our home, or in a hotel room, or in an apartment, or we travel, mm -hmm. she's free to do anything she wants to do. Yes. It's about me and her. But once there's a third party, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what you see as respect. She's not as, she's not expected to be going around naked now, or to be half naked. Yes. That property is mine. It's mine. Mm -hmm. It should be for me. Mm -hmm. And everybody. You, you, I'm not for everybody. You understand? Yes. Yes. So, it depends on how each person categorizes respect. Mm. But my point is that some people mistake slavery for respect. And that's a very key point you've made there, Obi. I, I, I mean, that I, I, that is a very key point you've made there because one of the things I asked the men last week is, in experiential terms, what does respect mean for you? Respect doesn't necessarily mean, doesn't mean uh, coming back from work and maybe both of you come back at the same time and you send her, go and get my food, go and wash the... That really is not, that's not what respect is. So that's a valid point you've made. Um, I want to ask you something, Obi. So anybody that knows you know that you are, in fact, it's almost like your wife has you spellbound, right? <laughs> do, you, <laughs> do, you, do you think that, um, do you think that it has to do with the, the, way you, the way you love her? Is it a function of the way she respects and she honors you? Or is it just a function of who you are? I think I think uh, life is about give and take. Yes. And as much as there are some isolated cases mm -hmm. of either a man, mm -hmm. a woman who is sick, because nothing you ever do to them will ever please them. Absolutely, absolutely. You understand? Yes, yes. But my relationship with my wife mm 
the foundation is respect. Yeah. You see, without respect, there is no love. <laughs> yes, sir, yeah. Respect breeds love. Mm -hmm. I respect her a lot more than anything. Yeah. And she respects me a lot more than anything. Yeah. Because she doesn't want to make me sad, neither mm -hmm. do I want to make her sad. sad. Yes. She will try to be like, watch out what we do. Yeah. How we react to certain things. Mm -hmm. How we do certain things. Don't you make sure that you don't end up hurting somebody. You say you love. You know it's easy for you to say I love you. That's that's a phrase. Yeah. But when you love somebody like you really love somebody like mm -hmm. Christ loves somebody, mm -hmm. you will never hurt someone you love deliberately. Because yeah. you love yourself. It's very rare for you to hurt yourself knowingly. Yeah. Yeah. And this woman has become part of you, yeah. part and parcel of you. She's mm -hmm. you, as a matter of fact. Yes. This is because the only. Become, yeah, yes. yeah, this is the only place mathematicians are making argument that one plus one cannot be one. But in this case, one plus one is one. Absolutely. Yes. So if you really care about the person, mm -hmm. you will never hurt somebody because people don't understand what is called love. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you love something, if you love your car. If you love your watch, mm -hmm. if you love your flower, your mm -hmm. pet, the pain becomes your pain. Yes. You watch out, you care and protect it with your life. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only thing that matters in your life. Yeah. So if you really love her, you will never ever think of hurting her. So, but I believe that respect breeds love. And the love will now bring stability, care, all those things that are associated with wonderful union. Yes. I'm yeah. very, I'm, I'm well said, Obi, very well said. I'm, I'm particularly excited that there are lots of men on this call because one thing that you said that is so key, I'm stressing it again, is respect, I mean, respect is very important, but what is respect? Respect is not slavery. Respect is not, no, 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 no. you know, imposing your, no, that's not respect at all. Um, now, Obi, you are a very successful businessman, and for you to have attained the level of success that you have, you must have way above average intellectual capacity, yeah? How important is it for you that your wife is able to connect with you at that level? No, okay, I think, I think also that's very important. I read, I read political science, my wife is a lawyer. Yes. Except you come close to her, you will never know because she doesn't flaunt it or you will never know her level of importance. Because I believe that at a particular level, you should be able to connect with a particular level. I, I, I think well, I'm not a marriage counselor, actually. So let me, no, not, you, you, say, you so let me talk about me and my wife. You've been married for 13 years. So we all want to know your experience. And you, I mean, so many marriages are breaking down in two years. You've gone from no, 13 and you're That's what I'm to saying. Uh, that some people. In, in 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 life in reality mm -hmm. some people get married either by connection by introduction by family ties and all those things yes some people actually get married because they paid school fees for the girl when they had nothing <laughs> yes. some people marry because maybe they were apprenticed to the girl's father and the family said you must marry and then in life Growth is constant. Growth is guaranteed. Yes. Now, the man grows mm -hmm. without bringing up the woman. She, he leaves the woman here and is growing. So at the point that this disconnect between where he is yes. and where the woman is, yes, 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 yes. Well, he now yes. feels that, oh, this one is no longer my level. Yes. Either he gets married if the culture religion or status allows that mm -hmm. or he starts keeping concubine not keeping concubine taking girls or women who he feels that are the same level right now with him yes. to functions because mm -hmm. he feels that what he has at home is no longer the level he has attained yes women also there are men who have been there for them when they were literally nothing. Mm -hmm. Maybe right now you have a trader who loves a woman. The woman 
will now be so loyal and respectful. And this guy will dedicate everything he has to make sure she gets the best of education. Uh -huh. And then she attains that. Ambition sets in. She wants to read more. While reading, you are meeting people. And this man has been here in his Osho the market, Alaba market, Idioro market, Alba market, whatever. <laughs> He's not developing academically with you. Mm -hmm. The money is there. But mm -hmm. at the point, you realize that life is not just about money. Yes. And then the woman now shoots up. Mm -hmm. The man is there. And all of a sudden, if issues come up, and the woman will now say, after all, how much did you pay? Bring your account number, let me refund you. Mm -hmm. But it goes beyond refunding. Mm -hmm. This guy has sacrificed way, way beyond. So what I believe that it's good for people to develop together. Yes. Because iron sharpens iron. iron. Yes. Mm. You understand? You can't be here, uh, but there's no connect between here. It's not possible. Even bridges, there's a span. There's a span you cannot like connect bridges between these two countries and everything. That's why you have aircraft to fly you. Yeah. So there must be that connection. Let it not be too far before you connect. So at every point while you are developing, the couple should be developing together. together. So that there will be that disconnect before it becomes unconnectable. <laughs> oh, me. fantastic. So what you're saying <laughs> is that it's very important that your wife is able to connect with you intellectually as well. Yeah, intellectually, yeah. Fantastic. Do you do you have um do you have any um any hobbies? Do you watch football? Are you a football fan? I think my hobby is my business. Wow. My business is my hobby, but I take time, I take out time. To touch everything because no knowledge is a waste in this life mm -hmm. i try to do everything yes but i am so enslaved to my business that that's like my hobby i want to do i want to do new things every day i want to experiment i want to reach new heights and everything so that's that yes so that's my hobby and and your wife obviously is involved in your business because she's the she's everything the i do everything i do she makes all the agreement She's a director on everything I have. Mm. Everything. She's my and, next of kin. Fantastic. And, and, of and, and you got to that level. Let me ask you this, Obi. I know, I mean, I, I think I know what the answer is, but I want to hear you say it. So is she, is she that involved in your business just because she's your wife or because of the type of relationship you have with her? Because of the relationship, and I, because of the type of relationship, you see, well, I know myself, mm. eh, I can never be in any toxic relation. It's not possible. Yes. Because peace brings about growth. Yes. Toxic, toxic relationship brings about downfall and everything. Absolutely. So, because already we reason alike and then we, we think alike and everything is easy. I mean, it's easy. You don't have to, there's nothing to hide. She is the one that digests all this when I get to home. My own is just to be there in the bush hunting the meat. She processes it in and then packs it in, in, in the house and everything. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's yes. the relationship and everything. Mm. Oh, that, yeah. that's so interesting. So so if she if you were, for instance, because there are some women that are not interested in their husband's business, if she was that sort of woman, do you think that it would have been, it posed a problem for you? She won't be that kind of woman because right from the first day, I know what I want. Mm. She wasn't the only woman. I'm sorry to say this online, but at a point, you know, as I was young, mm -hmm. there will be other people are now. You understand? Yeah. But so when you are better, your heart of heart, you will know that you know exactly out of this five, out of this say. seven, out of this eleven, yes. this is the one that at this point. You know, you see you see all these traits, mm. you see all these signs. You see all these signals. Yes. But sometimes you just believe that the person will change along the line. Mm -hmm. It's rare. Yes. It's very rare for people to change. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So when you see those signs and you try and work on it and you realize that why the relationship is not working, you can't change the person. My brother, flee. Flee. <laughs> not run. Flee. You understand? Depends on what you want. Yeah. Because some people also, also in life, the truth is that some men actually want what we call selling, say, for the gram. 
I know, I know. For the yeah. ground. Yeah. We we are grounded. We are brought up in a local way. Mm -hmm. Home is very important. Yeah. Home is extremely important. So to us, once the home front is secured, then outside is is a is, is a win win for you. Yeah. But once that's what hala at home, almost mm -hmm. nothing you do outside will excel though. You just mm -hmm. be laughing for the ground for people to clap in for you. But when you go home, there's no peace. Yeah. When you sleep in a room, there's no peace. Mm -hmm. So when you see those signs, it's easy for you to decide what do I want. Do I want this person because she's like what do you call her pronoun? <laughs> As in Onubaje guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people are because of wow, wow. Who is this person? Yeah. You understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. But there are certain qualities that are way, way, way more important than that. Yeah. For a friend, yes, you can go with the best woman. Mm -hmm. But for marriage, mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of things are involved here. Yeah. A lot, a whole lot. A lot. I've I've heard people say that. I've heard people say that they because I've heard people complain about some qualities of their spouses. And I'm saying to them, I'm not in your marriage, but I knew that before you got married. Why did you marry? And I've heard quite a number of people say to me, Oh, I thought that marriage would change them. Do you think marriage changes anybody? Yeah, it does. It does. If there's if there is like a, a, a truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you really want to change, if the person actually wants to change you and everything, mm -hmm. you see the 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 essence of also relationship is for people to improve. There's something yeah. you 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 are bringing in the relationship. It might be stability. Mm -hmm. It might be ability to pray. Yeah. It might be a calculativeness. Just your ability to calculate. Mm -hmm. The ability to, to keep it together and everything. You can't get can't get a fowl now and be bringing corn home. The fowl will all just scatter it and everything. So <laughs> there's always people change. You can't actually change people. Mm -hmm. And that's why people say that has ah, ever since I met you, my life has changed for the better. There are phrases like that. Yeah. You understand? So people change. There's room for they, people to they change. They have to decide they want to change. What you're saying is that they have to make that decision. It's not about the person. It's not, it's, the duty is not for the person that is trying to change you. It's you that is about to be changed. You have to decide, yes, I'm open to being changed. I want to be changed. Mm -hmm. So that way it makes it easier for the person who is working on you to see results. And when you see positive results, it actually helps the person to do more and everything. Okay, in a, in a, in a African setting, Nigerian setting, we know that um, when you marry into a family, when a woman marries into a family, she's not at the end of the day. Yes, you're married to your husband, but you know you have to be mindful of your husband's relative. If that makes sense. Um, in fact, if we look at it from the scripture, marriage is actually yes between the man and the woman, but it's a union of families. Um, how important is it to you that your your wife is? Is um is is friendly with your family. Let me put it for lack of a better way of putting no, it. That, that, along with your family. That's very simple. Mm -hmm. You see, all these are saying family deeper family because it behoves on the man. Mm -hmm. You see, what you value, people value. Thank you. What but you don't you know value, what, people don't value. You know what, sorry, I'm going to cut you short. For full measure, I want you to say that again, please. No, no, no. I, it's very simple. Like I said. Mm -hmm. What you value, people value. So how you present, you see? How do I, you see rice is rice. Mm -hmm. Let me come down to everybody's level now. Yes. Rice is rice. A bag of rice is like 25,000, between 30,000. Mm? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That same rice, if you mm -hmm. take it and give to Mama Put, mm -hmm. when she finishes preparing, she sells at 200 to 500 naira a plate with Pomo. Yeah. You take it to a, what they call restaurant. Yes. The same rice sells for like 1,000 to 2,000 naira a plate of rice. The yeah. same bag of rice. Yes. You take it to maybe a higher class. You sell 5,000. <laughs> yeah. You take it to a Chinese. Mm -hmm. sell to 5,000. There are places, the same plate of rice costs like 50,000 on a packaging. <laughs> yes. To me, on a packaging. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. The way you present your wife to people mm -hmm. determines the level of respect they give to your wife. Yeah. People will not come back from heaven or from wherever to come and respect their wife 
is the value you place on her that determines the respect that people accord to her. It's simple. Families, friends, associates, whoever. It has to start with you as the person. Yes. Nobody earns respect. Apart from some women, wait your eye. Where go talk, say, oh, you can't place me here. But they must have been self-made. Hmm. But in terms of you trying to portray your wife, whatever you portray is what the world sees. And yes. however the world sees it is the way they value and respect your wife. Hmm. Simple. Oh, that's such a key point that you've made. It's such a key point. It's true because the onus is on everybody to present whatever the way they want them to be to be as to be valued. It, it, Simple. Yeah, Nothing so more. You're very correct there. You know, I'm I'm very happy that you're I'm very happy that we have you as the last speaker on this topic because you said a lot of things that are very key. And um, I'm going to post them, but I want us to go through so that I'm, I articulate the things you listed are very important in marriage. Number one is respect. Every man has agreed that. Respect. In fact, there's no, you said there's no love without respect. That respect <laughs> is love. Yes. I've, um, I've, like I said, they said um, unconditional respect breeds unconditional love. And I think that you've echoed that. The other thing you said is that you were friends before you got married. And I suppose that even being married now, you've continued to be friends. And, you're, and that's probably why you've gone from just the point where you were when you got married to the point where after 13 years, you're still, you know, you still have a close bond. So friendship is very important to you, right? Extremely. Okay. Extremely. Okay. And the other thing you said, I remember you saying that she when you were having a challenge, even before you got married, she was praying for you. So I suppose being prayerful is also important for you. Being able even, to if she, even, even if she's not a prayer warrior, let us say those words of encouragement. It yes. goes a long way. Yes, yes. And being able to connect with you um, intellectually and yes. grow as you are growing. Yeah. So connecting with you intellectually is very important. Extremely and, important. Yes. And then one thing you said that was so key for me is you said that when you had the challenge with the garden, you thought life was over, but she saw life, she saw beyond the garden in a way that even you couldn't. Yeah. So in other words, you're, she believed in you or she saw, she saw things in you. She saw beyond what you were. She actually saw your potentials as well. And so that's mm -hmm. very important for you. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, I want you to, before we close, we normally stay 30 minutes. We've gone 40 minutes. I'm sure your people are all <laughs> online. I'm sure they are willing to stay here one hour, but I don't want to keep you too long. I want you to give us a parting shot. What do you talk to the men, talk to the women? What, you, you know, just give us a summary what you think are, just give us a parting shot what you think would be fantastic ingredients for a very functional and solid marriage relationship. Okay, so... I'm a Christian. Yes. And I came from a very stable home. Yes. Everybody, not everybody is blessed with such gifts. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't define who you are. Mm -hmm. A lot of things can actually be done by you. You can actually say, this is what I want to. That's why we come out to say, because I'm sharing my own experience because it's nice. Mm -hmm. yes. And everything. So, one person say that the 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 foundation of success in every home is a stable home. Yes. I will tell you. I'm not here to make noise or to boast, but I will tell you. In that 13 years, plus three years we dated. That's 16 years. Mm -hmm. I have never exchanged words one-on-one -on -one with my wife. Not when we're dating, not when we are married. And it will now happen. Mm. Why? Because as if we don't have issues. No yeah. marriage is a bereft of issues. Yeah. But the point is, how do you manage the issues that come out? Yeah. You know, someone trying to say, Absolutely. so you'd rather drive away because when you drive, you cool down your head. <laughs> By the time you come back, everywhere is settled. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yes, I know some men are extremely... I'm talking about normal human beings, though, because there are some men and some women 
are off the hook. You can't, no matter what you do. But I'm not <laughs> talking about majority of people who are normal. Yeah. I'm talking about normal human beings right now. Mm -hmm. So, the foundation of every growth in home is a peaceful home. Either ways, you can't be a bully to your wife and expect the wife to be a blessing to you. Whoa. You can't be a blessing. You can't be a bully to your husband. It's like the person is a slave or he doesn't know what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And I said earlier, iron sharpens iron. It takes two. But the most important thing in a relationship, the most important thing in a, in a, in a marriage is for you personally and your wife or your girlfriend or the person you want to marry to decide that I want to get married and I want to stay married. You see, these days, the advent of social media has made it. Any program, you see somebody, they will tie a plaster and do video. <laughs> and be showing us. Yeah. And my husband beat me. Mm -hmm. My husband did this and everything. I mean, these are things, and the people who are less than you, who you people are, who start having opinion. Start having opinion in your marriage. People who did not come for your traditional wedding. Who did not go for the introduction? Who did not go for the child naming ceremony? We start having opinion, and you'll be responding, say thank you, my sister. Thank you for your word of encouragement. I, can you imagine that? Mm. So, how do you want to heal? How do you want to go past that? I do not ever support abusive relationship. Yeah. Never. The worst thing I hate is violence. Mm -hmm. No human being. No human being should raise his or her hand on a fellow human being. Mm -hmm. No human being, yeah. be it your staff, be it your child, be it your wife, be it your house help, be it your anybody. Mm -hmm. There are ways to correct things without being violent, without hitting human beings. It's debasing. It's beyond. It's below human to start hitting. We don't hit human beings because you feel that you are here today. You don't do that. Yeah. So. The basis of every successful relationship should start with that. We have decided we want to be in this relationship. We are, we are two separate individuals born to different families. Yeah. It's by accident that we met. Mm -hmm. But when we decide we are going to make this work, it's not about what people tell you. The moment you start bringing people into a relationship, that's the end of it because everybody have their own agenda. Mm. And what works in your marriage might not be the same thing that works in my marriage. But the most important thing is that once that true respect and love is there, every marriage will balance. Every marriage will eventually balance. No two is about it. Mm. Mm. People who are who are divorced, people who are unfortunate, divorce is allowed though. But if you're unfortunate that the marriage doesn't last. You now come online, start advising young girls not to marry. What? That's that's wickedness. <laughs> that's wickedness. Because let them go and taste what you've seen. Mm -hmm. It mustn't pan out the same way it pans out for you. True. They true. give them opportunity to go and taste. Everybody's destinies are different. Mm -hmm. But social media has done more harm than good in the institution of marriage and family. Mm -hmm. Take it from me. Mm -hmm. We, you only see my family in the social media, mm -hmm. not because I want to flaunt them, mm -hmm. but because I want to tell people that in the midst of all this nonsense going on in social media, mm -hmm. there are still some stable families. Yeah. And it will remain so. All these things are saying that don't flaunt their family so that let them come and destroy, let me see. <laughs> it can't happen. Yeah. Because I know this foundation on which I built my family mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So why they are fighting that? making it look as if there's nothing like marriage, you will also be protecting the institution of marriage because my family, my parents never divorced before they died. Mm -hmm. My wife's parents never divorced before they died. You understand? Some people might not be as fortunate as I am, yeah. but your parents' actions do not determine your future. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm mm -hmm. saying. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm saying that it behoves, it's a pact between man and woman, not everyone just called as witnesses for the day, but the marriage is between 
man and woman. So you guys will decide from the one if you want it to work, if you want it to last, if you want it to fail. Yeah. Not small thing you call your friend, babe. You know this man is snoring and come on, while I did. So is that not too much? Ah, <laughs> uh, Obi, this has been, you know, I don't know how to say this to you. You will be shocked at the impact you, your words, your words are like words of marble. You said so many things today that especially a lot of young people need to hear. You will be shocked at the impact this is going to have on marriages. You know, people are, I mean, my, my prayer is that people would listen to you because they say that, you know, when you know better, you do better. Certain people do things not because they don't even realize that the things they are doing are harming their marriage. So my prayer is that as many people as I've heard you speak today would have learned something that would help them do better in their marriage and, you know, see the kind of marriage that they want, they hope to, to, to achieve. So um, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate co you coming on today. My pleasure at the time. Let me say, I know it was short notice, but and I really appreciate your, your coming on even at short notice. And um, say hi to Lush Ebby for us. Maybe she'll come and give us her own perspective because we're doing what women want in marriage. Maybe I'll reach out to her and see if she'll be happy to come okay. with us. That one day on a hand. That one day on a hand. No, <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so very much, Kay. All right. Thank you. Good night. Right. Thank Have you, everybody, night. for coming on. See you again next week. Yeah. Same time, same place. Have a good evening. Bye. Thank you. Marriage, relationship, everybody has a different experience in every relationship they are, in every marriage they are. But you know, when you try to bring all of the results together, you see that it's a journey of life where you have to under keep understanding humans, keep understanding yourself, keep understanding the next person beside you because there are some things you're going to do that you might not really think you would do them. Why? Because of the, the person beside you who unlock those magical things in you. They might be good things, might be bad things, depending on the kind of relationship you're into. This section was really interesting and trust me, Obi Kubana gave the best he can. Yes, I know he was going to really do justice to this. He has been in the marriage game for over 13 years and that's a lot of time to really break into the circle of relationship and marriage at large anyway guys thank you for watching in the comment section tell me one thing or two things you pick out of this video that are so 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 much important see you guys on my next video